Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions crystal opening. So as you can see, we have two six star crystals that we can open up. We're just gonna open up generics. And we also have a Cavalier crystal that we're gonna open up. So the crystal opening portion of the video, it's not gonna be that long. After I finish opening up all the crystals, we're gonna take a look at uh, the release notes for 33.0 and they have some bug fixes in there and some very interesting uh, quality of life improvements for us all right but first let's get this crystal opening underway all right so first thing we're going to open up this cavalier crystal and really i just want a six star out of this any six star is phenomenal a new six star would be crazy good right now i need one new six star to even out my arena teams just one um but there are champions that i would love to have duped like silver surfer and nick fury all right slowing down what do we got out of this cavalier okay uh we did get a, a five star uh, Xander Scar. I know you like seeing that. Um, all right, so he's a uh, 660 now. So not bad. Uh, that gives me six star shards, so I'm not upset about that. All right, let's get to these uh, six stars here. And let me open up. There we go, at the bottom. And let's grab one. And we'll spin it out. And as you can see at the bottom, down here, uh, the champions that I am hoping to get are all listed down there. Shang-Chi, Apocalypse, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Hit Monkey, Professor X are all in my most wanted section. They're not the only ones that I really want, but they made the most wanted list. And then on the right-hand side are the champions I want duped the most. Silver Surfer and Nick Fury being the most wanted dupes, followed by King Groot, Kingpin, and Captain America Infinity War. If I can't get anyone on this list, I just would love to get a new six star. All right, slowing down. First six star, what do we have? Wow. Wow. That was the worst possible one we could have gotten. He's the only six star that I have at max. He's the only one I have. This does absolutely nothing for me except ISO. That was the worst possible pull. This is what they are doing to me because I got such great pulls recently. And if you haven't seen it, that Day of the Deadpool, I'm still riding high off of that. So even this can't affect my happiness from that. All right. But yeah, that, that was absolute garbage because that's the worst one. He's a great champion. You know, if I didn't have him already at SIG 200, I'd have been flipping out for that one. But the way that they do this, you don't get anything. There's no seven stars in the game yet, so there's no seven star shards you're going to get. You just get nothing but ISO and gold. That's it. So all of that work that you put into getting a six star, you know, being able to form a six star, all you get is ISO. You know, it'd be nice if they changed that, but it has been the way they have done things all the way through since I've been playing. All right, final one. What do we got? Can we make up for that other one? Another Dragon Man. That ain't right. All right. I mean, he is good. Higher Sig. He does gain uh, more damage and power. But I saw a Void peeking around the corner. I would have loved that Void. It would have been a new champion. And uh, I would have had even arena teams. All right. Well, not the greatest of... Um, uh, crystal openings 
this is what I can expect after having such a phenomenal opening. So that is going to do it for this portion. And I will switch over right now. And we're going to look at the uh, release notes for uh, 33.0. All right, here we go. Here are the release notes for 33.0. I'm not going to read all of this to you here. You can uh, find this on the forum. This is a post right on the forums. But of all of these, that skip special three button is probably the best quality of life improvement of any that are listed here. But first things first, we've got back issues number eight coming. Uh, that's variant number eight for you guys um, who don't know that the name, the official name is back issues, uh, but that's variant number eight. And it tells you a little bit about that one. You can see there uh, only mercenaries, hashtag mercenaries and Deadpool family champions will be at their strongest. Now, I don't know if that means they'll just get extra boosts and you can still use other champions. They're just going to be the best ones to use or if they are going to restrict it. it. The way that it reads, and, and I've been bitten before by their wording, um, but the way that it reads, they are the ones that will be the strongest for that content, meaning others will not be as strong, you know, but it really depends on what they do. You know, one, the, uh, one of the variants, you could bring someone else in, but you wouldn't want to because they would die. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one. All right. Fight summary beta. That is a, a nice little uh, quality of life for some people. Not everybody like that, but if you're an information junkie, you're going to love it. Uh, I remember playing World of Warcraft, and I was one of those people who installed an add-on that would calculate my damage. It would break out all the different damage sources, and it helped me improve my game. You know, I could analyze what was working well and what was not working well. So I love that. Not everybody did. That's what this reminds me of. And I wonder if that's what they are going for. Now, it's still in the beta. So they, they even admit there will be some bugs. Uh, and you can revert. And that should be something that makes a lot of people happy. You can always revert back to the old uh, fight summary screen by disabling the option. So have it, use it if you want to, disable it if you don't, you know, or just don't enable it. So I like that. And I looked at what it will look like, you know, a screenshot, and it looked good to me. Uh, much better and more useful than uh, what I'm seeing currently. And then, of course, we have the aforementioned uh, skip special three button. You'll be able to turn on an option that will allow an in, you know, it will enable a button that will appear that would allow you to skip the special three animation. If you don't select that, you'll never see the skip button. Now, on my live stream, someone asked a question that I'm not able to answer. We're just going to have to wait and see. How does that interact with the uh, mechanic of, you know, the extra damage that you get uh, for, you know, what is it, five stars and up? And I don't know. Will the skip button appear after that? That's how I would do it. You would at least have to do that. And then you could hit the skip button. But we'll see how they implement it. I don't know how they're going to implement it. Uh, let me see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just saw it. That is the answer. Um, if enabled, you will be able to skip the special three animation after the five-star timing minigame. So there's the answer. 
Um, they're doing it just the way I would have done it afterwards. Uh, however, this feature will be disabled in timed matches uh, while we evaluate any balance issues, which makes sense. The boost categories, I'm going to love seeing that cleaned up. I'm a, I'm a big UI, which is user interface, uh, person. So I love seeing clean user interfaces. So I'm looking forward to seeing their new one. I've seen the screenshot, but I'm looking forward to seeing it implemented. Okay. Then we've got Nebula and Karnak. Their updates will be live in that uh, patch there. And I'm looking forward to them both. Karnak and Nebula will both be much better. How much better? We're going to see. But Nebula is looking real good. She might go to rank two as my six star. Karnak definitely is looking good. I have both of them as six stars and they are awakened. So, oh yeah, can't wait. And then we have bug fixes. I'm probably one of the only ones that get excited uh, in the bugs uh, bug fix section. So I'm not going to read all of these to you, but there's one I wanted you to see, and it's the very last one. Fixed a bug where the special attack button sometimes causes champions to block instead of launching a special attack i knew it was not me i would smash that special button and it would not fire the special and the ai would fire theirs and that would be why because if it didn't register as a special attack but a block that gave the ai more than enough time to fire their own special. And you wouldn't see it because it would happen so quickly. So yeah, I'm liking that. All right, guys. So that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, the crystal opening wasn't the best, but we had really good luck recently. So we can't complain. We gotta pay the piper. All right, <clears throat> and Cyber Weekend is coming up. That's when I'm going to be able to awaken my uh, Silver Surfer. All right. Uh, and I might be able to open up another six star or two before that happens. We'll see. But that's going to do it. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.